So right now I am in the middle of running my online stop drinking course with all the amazing women who signed up earlier this month and a really big part of my class is looking at all the different reasons why we think we drink and then examining what's really going on there. So for example, a lot of people drink because they want to be happy. You know, they want to have fun and feel good and they think that alcohol creates that experience for them. So one of the exercises I always get everyone in my class to do is to think about imagining that you are locked in a prison cell. Obviously not a nice place to be, but guess what? You've got one thing with you and it's your favorite wine or alcoholic drink. And my question to people is always this. Well, if you believe that drinking wine truly makes you happy and that alcohol really is joy in a bottle, then you're still set for a good time, right? The alcohol should be able to deliver those good vibes to any situation, including a pretty horrible one like being stuck in a prison cell. Now, of course, when most people think about that bizarre situation, they realize that the wine wouldn't bring happiness. You know, it wouldn't be like flicking a switch. It would still be an awful place to be, even if you were raging drunk. And my point is, if we're so clear that alcohol can't transform that scenario into a pleasant experience, then why on earth do we expect booze to do exactly that in other more realistic, commonplace situations? Anyway, that prison cell exercise is just one tiny part of a lesson within my six week program. But the reason I wanted to tell you about it and mention it here is because one of the women in my July class said to me, do you know what? I've just realized that this prison cell idea, it isn't actually that unrealistic. It's not that far removed from my life because that is basically what my home has been like for me during large parts of this year. And she said, you know, I've, I felt trapped at home during lockdown. I've not been able to go anywhere. I didn't feel good. And so I started drinking more and more because I thought it would make me happier. And I know so many people will be able to relate to that. And so many people will know that it, it didn't make you happier. It didn't work. So I just thought this was so interesting because we've all been through some kind of lockdown recently. And I know that in some parts of the world, people are going through that for a second time right now. And yet, I don't know any drinkers at all who've had a brilliant time during the past few months. No one is saying, wow, like alcohol really turned lockdown into something special for me. It has just been so much fun. I've really been living my best life. We are constantly giving alcohol credit for providing joy and pleasure in our lives. But just look at how often we overlook when it doesn't work. Now, perhaps you're watching this thinking, all right, I take your point. I accept that alcohol doesn't make me truly happy. It isn't fun in a bottle. I have evidence for that. However, perhaps you feel that your drinking is a distraction from your current circumstances. It helps you numb out and ignore everything else. Perhaps sometimes you just want to check out from your life for a bit. If this sounds like you, then first of all, I want you to know that you're not alone. This is actually what drives a lot of people's drinking, but most people won't admit to it. And it's really easy to get stuck in a trap where you are drinking to try and feel better about your life and to try and ignore something you're not feeling good about 
that was my experience too so I really really understand how tempting alcohol can be in that situation and how it can feel as if it's making things better but here's what I want to invite you to think about what if alcohol was actually causing your problems rather than easing or relieving them what if alcohol is creating more issues for you and exacerbating existing problems and making them harder to overcome what if alcohol is actually fueling all the problems in your life and keeping you stuck in them not making any progress not getting anywhere because here's what i know for sure when you drink you start the next day not feeling good so that means it is straight away much harder for you to deal with the normal everyday stress you're going to be less patient you'll be harder on yourself and with others probably and when you've had a whole day of making mountains out of molehills you are going to really really want a drink to switch off from that drama and check out for a bit and the other problem is that if there is something in your life that's truly making you unhappy like a relationship or a job or perhaps you're lonely or overwhelmed or you've got too much on your plate well the chances of you doing anything about that when you're drinking and you're stuck in that alcohol trap well it's so much lower you never have the clear head or the time or the energy to really deal with the root of the problem and stick with it long enough to make progress and this is what a lot of people struggle to see alcohol isn't solving your problems or relieving them it's just papering over the cracks temporarily whilst keeping you firmly stuck in a place that's making you quite unhappy so can you see that the real prison in this situation isn't lockdown it isn't your other circumstances it's alcohol alcohol puts you in a prison it keeps your world tiny and small and it keeps you stuck in the same patterns the same feelings the same life i mean it's literally like groundhog day but the good news is that you are not locked in this alcohol prison you can leave any time you like you have the keys and you have the power to walk away and enjoy the freedom that's waiting for you outside away from alcohol on the other side of booze that's why we call it alcohol free living because it's all about the freedom and that feels really good so i'm kate b wherever you're watching this please scroll down let me know what you think let me know if this resonated with you and i hope you have an amazing week ahead